culture is is how we express ourselves. It's how we listen to the past, it's how we speak to the future, and it's how we understand today. It's important for me that there's this removal of my hand and of my own decision making from the process and from the work. Um, and so printmaking allows for um, something else to enter in. When approaching the Spaces show, I wanted to think about you know, having a a notable reference um, that, you know, for me always becomes very removed and things that are references sort of fall out. Simultaneous to the work that was happening for the Spaces show, there's also work that was happening for an exhibition at William Busta's gallery. I saw the installation at Spaces during the opening and, and I was really disappointed in it. And I was able to come back to it uh, at a later time, isolated in the gallery. And it made a tremendous amount of sense. But sometimes installations do require that, that, sort, of, that sort of isolation to create the type of direct experience where, where it makes sense. One of the things that art is, is it's, it's a way that things communicate. And a work of art, if it's a work of art, and if it's effective, acts as a map or a chart or a diagram that the careful viewer, in contemplation, in direct experience, can find their own way through some of the same experience that the artist had. The images of plants that are in the Busta show came from the plants that actually exist within the Spaces show. You know, this new way of painting for me and a way to make an image that was somehow, you know, out of my control. When you go to Spaces, what you're seeing then is more of a reveal into, into that conceptual framework that Christy was working with, without the edges trimmed, without the frames, and without it, without it being tidied up quite so much. The show, we could say is dealing with you know the idea of the fleeting moment but then also something that's lasting at the same time through documentation in a way there's a sense of loss to the whole to all the work and there's with that sense of loss there's there's a work there's an effort toward a sort of reconciliation we have the work of Eva Hess, and we have the memory, and then we have these photographs of her life, but the flower work is somewhat malleable and changeable and, you know, maybe won't even last. And then, you know, there's sort of this constant rotation of the wicker chair in the video that suggests sort of an ongoing eternity. And then we have Marlene Dietrich who's fighting age and that constant motion and that cycle of life somehow. What the installation at Spaces gives you is something that's more than work product, but less than the work of art. And the question that sort of rises, uh, and I think it's one of those art questions today, is which is more the work of art? Something finished, the object that can be carried, or is it the experience? And if it's the experience, how do we, how do we hold on to that experience? How do we experience it in a way that is meaningful to us? I and mean, that's the really, really tough thing. It's a different way to present the same set of the same set of ideas. As she titled the show here, I'll Be Your Mirror, it's that's a really, really tough title to put on yourself. Uh, to 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 make that to make that so, sort of offering, but it it also suggests uh, I'll be my own mirror. I I will reflect myself, I'll reflect myself to the world. Mm -hmm.